everyone, it's me, Sharon Nature here, back with a brand new video. So I want to talk about all the big news that are coming ahead for Destiny 2. There's going to be tons of video kind of breaking down everything because yesterday I had a tons of information that I really want to discuss in each video. So I don't want to, don't want to make this video long. But today we're going to be talking about the Activision and Bungie situation and how I feel that Activision had a really big part of Bungie being suffocated throughout the years, judging by you seeing the video docs and judging what, what they want to do with the game and seeing, you know, everything in general that that should have been, you know, Destiny at some point. Uh, there was a video doc a couple of years ago kind of showcasing Destiny and, you know, all the different elements that they wanted to bring to the game. And then all of a sudden it kind of completely changed when Activision was like, look, if you do this and you do that. I always felt that Activision was the reason why Bungie is what it is today, you know, not, you know, releasing itself to the public, showcasing what it should have been. And the video doc really showcased that. And I'm really proud that the team at Bungie really focus on their details and focus on something that they know that the community would like and the community want to push for in the near future. Bungie has been listening to the community very carefully on uh, all fronts, and they're going to be doing you know, much more things throughout the whole future. So I'm really proud of that. But most important I want to talk about is just the pricing. I've been going throughout Twitter between yesterday and today uh, with the Destiny community on Facebook and of course on Reddit and especially on Twitter and just going through people's chats that have been live streaming Destiny 2 and everybody's been complaining about the pricing of the new expansion. Now I want to give my full take on that and give you guys a prime example of over the years when Activision and Destiny were together and kind of like showcase you the pricing that was kind of ridiculous at the time compared to what it is now. Now the pricing back when Bungie was set to release, uh, not Bungie, but Destiny set to release, um, basically the pricing was kind of ridiculous. It was just all over the place. I remember my friend was like, well, if you pre-order this version, you will be able to play the beta like seven days early before everybody else or something like that. You get to play the beta first and you get all these different things. But if you buy a standard, you're not going to get to play the beta or something like that. There were so many different price points at that time when I was trying to buy Destiny. I was just like, what is the hell is this situation? She was the first person that really got me into Destiny. And I want to thank her every single day for that. That got me into this game and play this game. And I really appreciate that. Over the years, we used to play together, but then she kind of noticed that Destiny was going into a different direction. If even myself was kind of noticing that Destiny was going into a complete direction than it was before. And judge by the starting point of Destiny 2, it completely changed from what it was. And I always felt like Activision had something to do with that. I always felt like Bungie didn't have really nothing to do with all those different changes that was coming into the game. But the pricing points were just all over the place during those years when I was playing, you know, Destiny and just like, what the hell is this thing? And I thought that I bought, I forgot what version that I bought, but I think I bought like a version that was $69. And I'm thinking like I'm going to get the two expansion passes. I didn't even get the two expansion passes. So I was just like, are you like me? I was like really heated at that time. This, this, this was like 2014. This is when PlayStation was coming out. And, you know, they were starting to get real popular. And I'm just saying to myself, I bought this version of the game. Why I didn't get the two expansions? And I read, like, the little pricing, you know, the little, always read the fine print. It doesn't matter if it's a contract. It doesn't matter if you're signing up for a job or, you know, you're getting a job. Always read the fine print because the fine print will, it will mess you up at some point. And I read the fine print. I was like, wow. I don't get this version of that game. So I had to go save my money throughout the years because I had, I had to, pay bills and dark below was coming out at this time i didn't give destiny a chance because i'm just like eh, it's okay then i started dark below house of wolves and i'm just like okay i'll give this game a chance and then um the pricing point got ridiculous over the years especially with destiny one you had the collector's edition of this you get all these expansion packs you got to play these expansion packs in order for you to do that and i feel like bungie at some point I feel like they didn't want to do that to their community. Like, well, that's not fair. You know, we should do it this way. And, and then if they want the expansion pack and want those weapons that were introduced in the expansion pack, they were more willing to get those expansion packs. 
I always felt that Activision has some, you no, know, had a lot to do with DLCs. As you can see with Call of Duty, it's, the Call of Duty one is completely ridiculous. And they had to change their pricing point and had to rebuild their franchise of Call of Duty at some point because everybody was sick and tired of what they were doing to the game. People were sick and tired of it. Even some people in the Call of Duty community was like, wow, it took them to leave Activision and really expand their game. It kind of shows, shows that Activision is just a, it's a leech. It's a leech publisher, if you want to put it in that sense. They only care about the money. And when I see people going into, you know, the chats or whatever, complaining about the pricing point, I had to stop them right there. I'm like, the pricing point is 10 times much better than it was in the previous years. I had to spend over $100 on this game to cover mostly all the things that I can cover onto this channel because I can't cover everything because I work. And you guys are complaining about the pricing point? I said, that pricing point is very cheap, especially for the deluxe edition. It's $60. Now, if they were still being published with Activision, that deluxe edition would be $69 instead of $59. And somebody did mention that in the comment sessions on the Facebook community that I follow and said, well, the version that everybody's been complaining about, that had been $70 right now if they were with Activision. So for them to really like say that, oh, well, you know, the pricing point's ridiculous. Not, I'm like, ridiculous? The standard edition is $35. The deluxe edition is $60. And the collector edition is $149. I said, if they were with Activision right now, that collector edition would have been $199. Because Activision know that people love this game. And they're going to put a pricing point that they know they're going to make money off of. But Bungie's not doing that. Bungie is an independent company by themselves. They can do what the heck they want to do with their game now. They don't have to listen to this person, this person, this person. It's all up to them. They do the decision making. And whatever decision making they make, it's on them. And I have to say to some of these people that are complaining about the price and look, are you serious? Death Stranding is... <laughs> Y'all going to get that. Control comes out in August and y'all talking about y'all going to get that. And their pricing points a little bit much higher than this expansion pack that people are complaining. And I have to say to myself, I don't know if these people watch the reveal stream. Don't you see the amount of people that was in that room clapping, excited for this game? And you can't say that you these people need a little extra bonus throughout the years. How would you feel that you were 80 hours a week? Let's say at Walmart and don't get paid for six months. How will you feel about that? Don't worry. I'll wait when you guys can give me that option. You guys would be pissed off if you work 80 hours a week for six months and don't get paid. These people need to get paid. They got, they got lives too, just like us. They're normal people just like us. It's just that their jobs might be different than yours. They test games and play games all day. Yeah, some people's like, is that a job? Yeah, that's a job. When you got to, like, especially when there's a deadline. As we speak, they're still working on this damn expansion pass. And it probably is not even done yet. They're still working on it and still trying to get this thing finished. I said, you mean to tell me you can't spend $35 or $60 for this game that's doing cross-save. It's going to be free to play pretty soon. Destiny can just say, we're going to reband ourselves and just call it Destiny. This is going to be a free-to-play game. And then we're just going to make money off of DLCs. It might change the gaming industry at some point. Maybe some games will say, wow, maybe we can make more money just being a free-to-play game and, you know, add DLCs and people will buy them. Probably not, but if, if there's people that really love a franchise or really love a series of a game and the person that's behind the game, the publisher, the lead director, the lead writers, if they love those people, yeah, they might spend their hard-earned money on, on expansion passes. People are upset because it's a free-to-play game. I said, well, at this point in time, you might as well. Just might as well. I don't mind. Yeah, am I upset? Maybe, but not as late to, like, go on the community sections and the comic sections and cuss people out. No. And at the same time, when you think about it, it's like, you might as well make it a free-to-play game. You guys, that's what you guys basically want throughout the future. You guys been complaining about, oh, well, Destiny needs to be a free-to-play game because it's not really going anywhere at this point. Okay, they did it, and everybody's complaining about it. I'm like, what? Seriously? 
So it didn't really make any sense when you got some of these people in the comment section complaining about something that they just mentioned like six months ago. And then Bungie did it and they're upset that Bungie did it. I'm like, are you serious? You're upset because Bungie did what they're supposed to do. I never really understood that situation. But hey, it, it's those people. But me personally, I really do see the future of Destiny. Pricing or no pricing, it kind of shows that Activision was kind of holding Destiny back by, well, if you do this, you got to do this. And the good thing about it is Bungie didn't mention anything about an annual pass. They didn't mention anything about, you know, yeah, an annual pass, basically. They just said they're going to add season in there. And everybody is going to be able to play everything at the same damn time. And I'm saying y'all complain about the pricing point. You guys should be very happy and thrilled that it's not exclusive for PlayStation. It's exclusive for everybody. There's cross save. That's the main thing you guys have been complaining about. Of course, I would give these people $60 of my money because they give us something that we definitely want for the community. And there might be a tons of more things that we need to add, but it's going to take time over the years. Like people have been complaining about trials. What's going on with trials? Why are not adding trials? I don't know why they're not adding trials. Maybe there's some issues and they probably saw a stigma in trials that they need to fix. They're going to be moving on to different servers and all different situations and it go on from there. So I don't understand why people are complaining about the pricing or complaining about this. But you guys are not happy that they're not with Activision anymore. They get to do with the things that they want to do ever since. And you guys are complaining. The first thing you guys are complaining about is pricing. I saw the price and I'm like, wow, that's cheap. Because like I said, the deluxe edition right now would be $69 if Bungie was still with Activision. And they signed another 10 years of their life with Activision. It'd be $69 right now for the deluxe edition. The collector edition would be $200. Probably $249. The collector edition of Destiny 2 was a ridiculous price point. That was a Call of Duty Collector Edition price. Destiny Collector's Edition was what? $249 for what? A book bag and a thing that, what? You got to go in the sun and catch heat. And it's like a solar book bag. And you get like a few little items there that you basically got in the limited edition. Ver they had so many different versions of Destiny 2 at that time. It was ridiculous. Because Activision was so money hungry. The only thing that they cared about was money. They didn't care about nothing else. Go back to my old videos. And I will leave the link in the little top of the video right here. Check that out. About the different editions of the game. There was Standard Edition. Deluxe Edition. This Edition. Um, limited Edition. Collector's Edition. There was like six different editions for Destiny 2. It was ridiculous. And you guys are complaining about the pricing point. Are you serious right now? Anyways, at the end of the day, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the pricing point. Do you think the pricing point is ridiculous? I don't think it's ridiculous. I think it's steady and simple and done with that. There's three additions to this game and call it a day. Bungie did the right thing by leaving Activision because Activision only care about the money. And when you read the article a couple of months ago, what was the first comment that they said? Oh, they weren't making the price. They weren't making the money market. They weren't making enough. They didn't made the quarter. I'm like, they didn't made the quarter and you guys are complaining. Really? You're complaining because Bungie didn't make the quarter that year. That was the only careness about about Bungie not making enough money at that point. They weren't making Call of Duty numbers. So I had to vision, so Bungie said, okay, well, deuces, bye. We're going to be an independent company, and we're going to do independent things by ourselves. Goodbye. And that was the best decision that they ever made. 2019 has been a really blessing year for me. Thank you, God. But anyways, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think. Give me your honest opinion. It could be long or whatever. I don't care. Give me your honest opinion about the pricing point. And I will catch you guys in my next video.